Um, hey guys, NL Hockey Kids, but for now, kid. Um, I'm here with, um, something new I got on the go. Uh, I got mini sticks. So, uh, here, here's one that I just recently finished just taping up. It's a horrible tape job, just taping it up and all that sort of stuff. But it's pretty cool. So, yeah, it's a Warrior Widow. Yes. It's upside down. Yeah. Alright, Warrior. See the Warrior? It's just a little crappy. But, uh, yeah. Widow. Yeah, so, there they are. It's the Warrior Widow. And then, here's that sides. And those two. Uh, I promise the next Warrior or stick I make, it'll be a lot better than this one. So, uh, yeah. And, uh, I don't make them the same way. I used to make them with Tox paint, but now I make them with, um, I go on this site called Ma, uh, the, I, well, the, I, I forget the site name. I'll, like, copy it and paste it in my next video. Uh, but, yeah, it's, um, I go to this, like, website. I got it off of Arwatts14. Subscribe to him. He's awesome. Uh, so, yeah. Just, um, if you watch his uh, how, to, how I make my graphics for my mini sticks, then you will know exactly how I make mine. And I just go, but he has a Mac. I use the Windows 7. Crap phone. So yeah, all I do is I save the picture. I use this thing called trimming tool on my Windows. And I trim out like the stuff I want. And I copy it and paste it to paint. Um... Yeah, so that's what I do, and sometimes I'll put names on them, which I do through Microsoft Word. Or any other things that you can put words on objects. And, um, I use that through paint and all that sort of stuff, so yeah. So yeah, this is what it looks like. It's really bad, but... I, I, I had to use tape, because I had no sock tape. Because I used it on my recent game. So yeah. Um, yes, that's pretty much it. So, yeah, all I do is put it on paint, and I use the Windows 7, and just trim all the stuff that I need and copy. And when I'm done searching, it always like, comes up like that little thing, and I right-click, and it says copy. I paste it in paint, and then I edit it from there. I'll make a further video, probably, like, tomorrow or something like that. On like how to do it, and I'll just show you like all the steps. I probably won't show you the Microsoft Word because I don't have that software downloaded yet. So yeah, that's about it. Um, no, there was another thing I had. Uh, what was it? Uh, just go oh yeah, to get to trim and tool, just go in your menu, like your start menu that you click down in like the bottom right corner to so start. Uh, in that little thing that you can search up stuff, search up trimming, and search up trimming tool with, like, a little pair of scissors and a circle around it. Click on that, and it'll, it, it takes a screenshot of what you want. You just, like, outline it. You click on one spot, and you, the like, outline it to the other, but you have to get it, like, exactly, just like I did with this one. See, and then... Have you... Hang on. This freaking stick... If you're doing for a Mac, then you should watch our watch 14, How I Make My Graphics. But I'll come out with my How I Make My Graphics now in a couple days. So that's about it. And guys, I'll see you next time. See ya. So yeah, before I go, here's just a stick. Here's a really crappy side because I forgot to do the top and the bottom. I forgot to do that first before I put on this warrior thing. So anyway, yeah, there's that side, and then you got this going down there like that. See, it's really bumpy and all that. Yeah, it won't be with my next stick. It'll be just like a straight outline going up and down. And it'll look really cool. And then you got that and that going down. Okay, and then here's the warrior sign. And that's upside down. Sorry. Warrior Widow, and yeah, I got the warrior symbol right there. It's off. It's a really crappy stick, but it'll do for now. I'll probably make like a redo of this in my future sticks, but for now, this is just gonna do for my Warrior Widow. 
So yeah, and then this is my uh, curve. This is how I curve my sticks. I just like take like the curve and I just put it over oven. Just go to my other channel and you could see like how I curve my sticks. Go to RPG X RPG Xbox Gamer. It will be capitals, but you don't have to type it up to find it. Anyway, so it'll show you how we do it. All I do is put it over an oven for like a like a minute, and then it just like starts curve, and then uh, I just curve one. So it's I think this is but I think this is the OV curve. If it's not, it's like my curve because it's like a wicked curve. Like I can shoot a lot with this, and then this is my tape job. But this is not what I use for my actual stick. This is just what I use. For like my mini sticks, just tape them up. My street hockey sticks, and, like there's no like not like bumps. Like there's no bumps like along the stick like right here, that like will keep my grip like on the stick. And there's it. This isn't like big enough for what it should be in ice hockey. But yeah, that's that's the stick, and it's uh sheer wood. This is this actually started out to be a Saint John's ice cap stick. If you can see the little like S at the bottom here, and let me focus. All right, there we go. Like S, and that's like the ice cap symbol, and C is like the ice cap colors. And yeah, so that's about it, guys. Peace.